the situation often occurs where adding new rows or columns to the existing data table is desired. Adding columns is achieved through various join methods. Directly from the data canvas, we can click the plus icon to add an operation. We are interested in adding cost of goods columns from a different data source to the data table in the analysis. Next, we can configure the settings for the add column operation. In this preview in the add columns match columns dialog, and verify that the column match suggested by the recommendation engine is the way we want it or configure the matching as desired. You can add or remove matches or edit an existing match. To edit a match, click on the row with the match and select one column from the original data and one from the new data. Click on the X on a row to remove a match. When adding columns, matching is done to enable joining between two data sets. Typically, only one or a few columns containing a row identifier should be used in the match. If you cannot match your desired columns directly, a transformation added using Spotfire Analyst might be used to create a calculated column to use in the match. The data canvas now shows that the columns from another data source were added. If desired, we can click the gear icon to make changes to the join settings. Adding rows is just as easy as adding columns. From the data canvas, we can use the add rows operation and select the data source. Similar to adding columns, we have add row settings. Here you see that all the columns match, but you can also include new columns if needed. Optionally, you can change the settings under identify origin of rows and new column. This option enables you to add a new column with different values for data from the original source and data from the added source, or select Use Existing to add this information to an existing column. After clicking OK, the data is now ready for use and analysis.